words fail me, um, um, and I don't know whether circus or carnival is the right word to use, but the lieutenant governor has told us today, first, that he's asked the attorney general to render an opinion about what happened in Fort Worth. For those of us that have been following the news, the attorney general has staffed his office with people who came into that office with an agenda, and that was to deprive members of the LGBT community of their rights. And so the lieutenant governor doesn't need to wait for the opinion from the attorney general. I think we all know what the opinion of the attorney general will be. The, the lieutenant governor asked for an opinion about two subjects, and first was whether the Fort Worth policy is in violation of the provisions of Texas law, uh, with, with provisions of Texas law which require a school district to keep information private and not share it with parents. And I'd like to talk about that provision of the law. That provision of the law exists and is the duty of a school district when a student reports that they are being abused at home or when a student or when a, a, a school administrator or faculty member believes that a student is being abused at home. The law dictates that that information is not to be shared with the family members who are abusing the child. We're supposed to be governed by what's in the best interest of the child. The sad fact of the matter is that many transgender children, when they tell their parents or require that their parents acknowledge that they are transgender, are thrown out onto the streets and discarded. And it is those children who mo most need protection, such as is included in the humane policy, completely in accordance with law adopted by the Fort Worth uh, School Board. The Lieutenant Governor has also asked the Attorney General to give an opinion about whether the superintendent had the authority to give guidelines. And here we had a school board, locally elected school board, composed of locally elected officials who hired a superintendent and who have decided to exert local control. The Lieutenant Governor only means he's for local control when he likes the outcome of the local control. The school board adopted a policy in 2011. The superintendent has merely instituted guidelines in support of that pre-existing policy, which of course was adopted uh, in accordance with all appropriate laws and regulations. And the lieutenant governor knows all of that. The state of Texas has forced the issue of transgender bathroom access into the courts. The lieutenant governor ought to stop talking about transgender bathroom access and let the courts sift through the law. And we're confident, of course, what that outcome will be. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals has already ruled. The Obama administration has issued guidelines consistent with the ruling that discrimination against transgender people is prohibited by Title IX. That is sound law. The case is in the courts. It was forced there by the Lieutenant Governor and the Attorney General. It's time now for the state of Texas to stop beating up on transgender people and let the courts answer the question that they have asked the court to answer, to stop beating up on transgender people. We've got underfunded schools. We've got crumbling bridges and roads. We've got foster children who are being abused and killed in foster care. We have problems with our jails. We have problems with the environment. We have problems with the water. It's time for our state officials to stop daily attacking transgender children in order to hide their inability and their failure to deal with the real problems that confront this state.